Simon, Simon Raybos, but a year. How you Hello. Doing? Well, it's been a long time. I don't know about a year. Well, no, it's a new year. So let's count it as a, yeah, it's been a year. Definitely. Definitely. It's been crazy. And what a year. And what a year. Exactly. Exactly. So today, from a slightly superior and smug position, we're helping mere mortals, we call them civilians in the trade, to do a better <laughs> job. Is that how you see today's gig? Uh, this is this is just a hiding to nothing, isn't it? Because something is bound to go yes, wrong. Exactly. The, the the smug factor is too high for us to get away with to get away with this. But uh, Ooh, yeah, it, it's this absolutely pride cometh before a fall, and all of that kind of all of that kind of thing. But I've been watching a lot of of YouTube interviews yeah. and Zoom interviews and that kind of stuff, and I'm still shocked, frankly, by some of the basics that people don't get right. As simple things like, and this is my personal favourite not looking at the camera uh yeah i know it's amazing isn't it it's not quite so bad like if you and i are doing it now on a dirty great machine but if you're doing it on um, a phone and you're holding the phone up actually that that three or four inches where you look at the, your image on the screen instead of the the where the camera is yeah, yeah. that does look like you're looking over the audience's shoulder and it's yeah. just just weird and very, very rude. So look at the little green light on the camera, people. Yeah, exactly. There's a clue. If the little green light isn't on, you're not broadcasting. Mm. They're very good. Although I've seen this thing with, with people who are sort of DJs and pretty cool characters. They have this de deliberately have a side camera. And I'm thinking, if you look at uh, Joe Rogan, he's got the side camera and other ideas capturing different people. And you're thinking, well, that's a podcast with a sort of audio fill-in, but you know it's a studio, and you're capturing two people. And therefore, they're, they're not looking at the camera. But that's not really what's happening with a Zoom call. So No, it's not. And actually, I've done dirty tricks. Here's a really dirty trick. Um, I've got in the past i've used my iphone as a second camera which mm, means that yeah. if you want to catch a second angle on yeah. me so that i'm looking in from a different position to make it more interesting for people you can do that yeah. or the thing that i've really loved doing with that one is if i want to use some kind of whiteboarding effect yeah. um i just grab a pen and paper and scribble just like you would on a flip chart at the front of it but hold your camera pointing down at the piece of paper uh instant whiteboard and people absolutely absolutely you love it. I tell you, they, what, they think I'm, I'm some kind of genius. I'm feeling OHP. <laughs> Have you got the you acetates, I, Margaret? <laughs> I had a PhD supervisor who said, and I quote, "If your overheads are dry when you stand up to speak, you've got no bottle." Which just, yeah, I know, I know. It scares me. Even now, twenty years later, it scares me. But uh, I was doing, yes, uh, yeah. so I'm just, it took me. We'll probably edit out the minute pause. <laughs> As if you're prepared. <coughs> oh, well, he was never prepared. That was kind of where he... But his mum was a genius, so he could just say what he liked and, uh, and get away with it. He but the other, yeah. That, yeah, the, the other thing I found that is a really simple dirty trick is having a backup Wi-Fi. I, I can't believe how, how simple this is. The number of times you go, um, your internet connection is unstable or somebody says, I'm just going to have to close my camera because the, I don't have the bandwidth that and all is. of that kind of jazz... So what I've done is I've got the bog standard, quite good domestic supply from Virgin, but just occasionally it stutters. Um, other Wi-Fi providers are available. Um, but I've also bought a little MiFi. Uh, so it broadcasts a Wi-Fi signal and then plugs that into the 4G network or 5G will, will come. So that if I am having trouble with my Wi-Fi, I can just within 15, 20 seconds, shift over to a backup Wi-Fi signal that uh, and I pay, that one is paid by data. So it's expensive if I use it, but I very, 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 very rarely nice have to one. have to use it. Nice and it, it just gives you that confidence to know that things aren't, you know, if they do go belly up. That, you know. um, well, and exactly. The other trick in, our, I, in our day job, we can't really afford to cock it up completely. I think a few cock ups is quite funny. Uh, but yeah, so well, if you went down and couldn't do it, then that's not cool at all, is it? Right. So cocking up is okay. Cocking up without being able to recover is yes, the, no, very good. the thing. Yeah. That's, yeah. So the thing that I always do, first thing I always do when somebody arrives into a meeting is make somebody else co-host. Yes, exactly. Um, exactly. Good. Another it's, it's not difficult. You just go, right, then you don't have to do anything. I'm just going to make you co-host. It just means that if I disappear... Yeah. There's somebody in the room with the authority to mute everybody and throw out the stragglers, and and I will be back within a minute after I have changed Wi-Fi 
Very good. It's Very never good. Hap- It's never happened, but it's always there. You just are in case. reminding me of a nightmare, which was hilarious. I was on a big new Tosh- Toshiba machine doing a webinar. This was years ago, and suddenly I couldn't do anything. So all the all the techno, all I could do, can you imagine this, was change the slides. It was like being a hostage, writing a note and putting it, <laughs> you know, throwing it out the window. I literally changed the the title of the PowerPoint. Help. Wi-Fi down, reconnect in five. It was the most bizarre thing. <laughs> to be fair, 90% of them just got it and saw it and went with it. And I thought that, that was, I was more impressed by their resilience and their uh, getting on and their perseverance than uh, my own little panic-based cleverness. But yes, uh, a bit of backup would have been quite useful there. Yeah. Did they know it was a deliberate thing or did they think you were joking? Because that's the kind of thing that some people I, no, would I do. Absolutely, just to... I was absolutely, look, I had this new machine, which didn't last too long. Um, I can't remember why. I was all Apple and I needed something on PC. So I just got this I can tell you why it didn't last very long. It's because you threw it out of the window. If no, that, exactly. That's, if it does, it does that to you twice, it's a goner. But uh, no, it was another, another cock up. Uh, landed in Dublin. It's always Dublin. Turned up there and I hadn't turned up, you know, your, do you remember, the, you know, your, your computer will reboot in X hours. So we had one hour mm-hmm. and I, I was just too focused on something else. And then this whole thing, lost the whole webinar. It was rebooting. It just like lost the whole thing, lost the oh. whole thing. It's just like, oh, that's the, excruciating. I mean, we had an hour, we'd had an hour, but that was excruciating. Yeah, the worst mistake I've made like that, and I completely hold my hands up here, was I use my iPhone as a remote control for my Mac. Okay. Uh, which means that I can see, no matter where I am in the room, I can see on my iPhone, just glance down, and it shows me the current slide and the next slide, so I know what's, nice. I know what's nice. coming up. Nice. Yeah, it's a little presenter view in the palm of your hand. Um, the day, week before, I'd been running short of memory on my iPhone, so I had deleted Keynote. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, nice, nice, nice. And 10 minutes before the gig, all right, I'll just connect ah. Keynote and, and Apple went, well, you can connect it, mate, but we're going to have to download it first. Yeah, 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 yeah. scary. Um, I mean, the good, the, you know, the good news is obviously I've got a, um, I've got a traditional USB connector for my remote control clicker, yeah. so the gig was no problem. But there was a, I think I said a rude word in Anglo-Saxon. No, been there, been there, been there. Exactly. I, I think I said, tush, tush, dearie me, I said. Blow what a that careless mistake. Lark. Yes, indeed. Another a top shame, tip, I as I'm thinking about it, we're all, you and I are control freaks. And when we don't have control of that thing, um, and when someone else is in control of the slides, they never quite get it. I find other people think the slides come first and the chat comes second. Uh, this is, you know, when, you know, I'm, I'm subbing, so it's not my material. Second computer, you have a second screen that works as well, but a second completely independent computer so you can toggle the whole slides on a nice big screen there. You could even read it if you bought it pretty close to the camera here. And so, and this is the big trick, isn't it? So most people seem to write the notes on the PowerPoint that they then show the audience. Biggest mistake in history. But there's nothing wrong with notes on a slide. But if you put them on a second computer, you're laughing. And but so just the, don't the, show them to the audience. The, the biggest thing that's ever gone wrong for me in that ilk was when the speaker before me yeah, yeah. put his foot through the confidence monitor. Lovely. So for those who don't know the jargon here, a confidence monitor is a second screen, yeah. usually on the floor at the front of the stage. So the audience <laughs> sees the slides up behind you, big, and you as a presenter see something different on the floor in front of you. You see the current slide, the next slide, and your notes. Yeah. Um, but the presenter for me had put his foot through the confidence monitor and, and <laughs> literally I, I could not see myself. So bless them, the techs got me an old fashioned data projector. Yes. Connected the cable into the data projector yes. that should have been going into the confidence monitor and pointed the data projector over the audience's head wow. onto the back onto the back wall. A reverse <laughs> cinema. Yeah, absolutely. So the audience saw the slides behind me and I was looking at my notes over the audience's head. And the only person that knew any different was me for this mild panic thinking, I, 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 what are we going or, to do? Or Mr. Superiority. Now listen to her. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, honestly, it, it was, that's when you discover exactly how good your tech team are, when they oh, just go, isn't... There's, there's two seconds of, freaking heck, boss, what have you done? And then there's a problem. 
But isn't that the, the, the best the money can buy is a brilliant tech team. I mean, they will just, they will save lives. So, they will re-rig it, rewire it, rejig it and save your bacon every time. So the tech team I'm talking about um, used to be, one of them at least, used to be a technician for Royal Shakespeare Company. They you you kind of don't get any better than that. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. they're, they're kind of, um, and the advantage that they've got, of course, they've worked with me for years, is that they know what I'm going to want. So I don't actually have to give instructions, which yes. is always always nice yeah. um, i can remember well, one gig when I, I i was i was doing some school work and i wanted to hit a rhythm for people in the audience yeah so i i, I turned to the side uh, and i i started the sentence do you know claire i think i'm going to need a drum <laughs> and i got as far as do you know claire i think thank you very much very good very good <laughs> because the djembe was in my hand halfway through the sentence requesting it because she had seen where it was going she had seen what i was going to do uh, and She'd gone off somewhere. I still, to this day, do not know where that Jemby came from. I, for all I know, she went to a music shop and bought it, or she broke it through the window or something. I don't know. I, I don't care. It just it appeared in my Simmons, hand. And that whiplash. Was... It's there. It's there. That could be. Could be. Absolutely. There we could go. be. Uh, so what else have I got that's useful for people? Oh, yeah. Do not put your microphone on your desk. Yes, exactly. Exactly. Because uh, your desk is a drum. Your desk is a drum. When I was doing at the BBC with uh, Jenny Murray, she, she kept saying, Keep your, keep, your, keep your elbows off the table. Keep your elbows off the table. Yes, because they were realising that the bays, the green bays of the BBC, was a timpani. All right, mate. I think we've, we've confessed more than enough to degrade our reputation so. as professionals. <laughs> and we've also shown you how the professionals would be professionals. Uh, rescue. If, if, if only we were grown-ups. Exactly. But it's a lot. I, I mean, I quite like making a mistake. I tell you what, I, I'll just end with this one. I think when it all cocks up and I've, I've fallen over on the stage, I've forgotten my props in front of 350 people in the, in the Queen oh. Elizabeth Hall. We've all done it. Uh, one, it keeps you humble. <laughs> Keep, keeps you oh, yeah. voicing humble. But also, and when you survive that, you feel stronger next time. But it gives you a very human way to connect with the audience because they can go, wow. And in half of them are cynical watsits who want you to fail. But the other half are really quite nice people who warm to you. So there we are. As long as you're not making the same mistake every time. I think that's the key. But yeah, so here's my parting shot. After every gig, we do a bit of reflective practice Bring just to find out how the better, you know, and we use the Rolf methodology is what happened. So what were the consequences? So what can I do about it? Yeah, 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 yeah. Go so down, you never come make back this, up yeah, again. Yeah, yeah. Never make the same mistake twice. Each exactly. gig, I make different, special, brand new mistakes just exactly. for that gig. Mistake reuse. All right, Simon. Well done, mate. Take it out. Thanks, viewers.